Hi everyone, I am Shubham Jhavar. I am a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing J Advanced 2020 Paper 1 Mathematics and the question for this video is this. Let the functions f defined from real to real and g defined from real to real be defined by f of x is equal to e to the power x minus 1 minus e to the power minus mod x minus 1 and g of x is equal to half times e to the power x minus 1 plus e to the power 1 minus x then the area of the region in the first quadrant bounded by the curves y equal to fx y equal to gx and x equal to 0 which is y axis is four options and it is a single correct type question let's solve it <coughs> so first of all if you see carefully what is f of x when x is greater than 0 but less than 1 mod x minus 1 would open with minus sign so it becomes minus times 1 minus x which is x minus 1 so e to the power x minus 1 minus e to the power effectively x minus 1 it becomes 0 now what if x is greater than or equal to 1 f of x becomes e to the power x minus 1 minus e to the power now x minus 1 will uh, the mod will open with plus sign and it will become minus times x minus 1 which will become 1 minus x <coughs> so if you see carefully f of x is 0 for x being between 0 to 1 and then f of x increases as x increases e to the power x minus 1 increases and e to the power 1 minus x decreases and since this is coming with minus sign this whole term in fact this whole expression increases so you can expect uh, fx curve something like this it is uh, 0 till 1 and then it increases now what about g of x g of x is half times e to the power x minus 1 plus e to the power 1 minus x so it is of the form like half times t plus 1 by t check it out x minus 1 is the power of the first term and minus times x minus 1 which is 1 minus x is the power of the second term so it is of the form half times t plus 1 by t where t is positive so here you can expect that it will have minimum value t plus 1 by t will have minimum value when t becomes 1 and when will t become 1 t becomes 1 when x becomes 1 check it out e to the power 1 minus 1 e to the power 0 is 1 before this and after this the values will be more than the value what it takes at x equal to 1 so you may say at x equal to 1 it takes minimum value and then it increases and meets y equal to fx at some uh, x say x equal to a now what about this minimum value if you see carefully the minimum value will turn out to be 1 check it out why because uh, when t becomes 1 that means e to the power x minus 1 becomes 1 1 plus 1 by 1 it's 2 times half is 1 so definitely g of x will be greater than f of x at x equal to 1 now what area do we want we want this area the area bounded by y equal to gx y equal to fx and x equal to 0 which is y axis in the first quadrant so as so to find this we first need to find what this a is a is the x coordinate of the point of intersection of the graphs y equal to f of x and y equal to g of x so here i would say f of x equal to g of x if i solve this i should be getting the value a now when x is greater than 1 and clearly a is greater than 1 you can say f of x would be e to the power x minus 1 minus e to the power 1 minus x this and what about g of x g of x is half times e to the power x minus 1 plus e to the power 1 minus x so effectively it becomes half times e to the power x minus 1 is equal to 3 by 2 times e to the power 1 minus x so if you see carefully two cancels out you take this on other side it becomes e to the power x minus 1 whole square 
is equal to 3. So basically e to the power x minus 1 is root 3. Now it can't be minus root 3, why? Because expo exponential expression can't be negative. So effectively you may say x is ln root 3 plus 1. So that means a is equal to ln root 3 plus 1. Now effectively this also means e to the power a minus 1 is equal to root 3. This is important uh, and this will be using directly ahead in our integration. So now let's find area. We want to find area of this region. And if you see carefully, it is like area under the curve of y equal to gx from 0 to a minus area under the curve for y equal to f of x from 1 to a. So it becomes integral 0 to a gx dx which is basically half times e to the power x minus 1 plus e to the power 1 minus x dx minus integral 1 to a fx dx and for x greater than or equal to 1 f of x is e to the power x minus 1 minus e to the power 1 minus x. So what does it become? It becomes half times e to the power x minus 1 minus e to the power 1 minus x with limits 0 to a minus e to the power x minus 1 plus e to the power 1 minus x with limits 1 a. Now what is e to the power a minus 1? We had pointed out, we had noted it down that it is root 3. So basically it becomes half times root 3 minus, so this will become 1 by root 3 minus, when you put 0, it becomes 1 by e minus e. And what, what about this expression I am writing here? It becomes minus, when you put a, again e, e to the power a minus 1, we had noted down that it is root 3 so this becomes 1 by root 3 minus when you put 1, this is basically essentially becomes 2. Yeah, because 1 plus 1, it becomes 2. Alright, so what essentially does it become? So as we calculate, it becomes uh, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 by root 3. And if you consider this, this becomes 4 by root 3 minus 2 or you can say plus 2 minus 4 by root 3 because this minus sign is here and what about this this is essentially you may say plus half times e minus 1 by e so it becomes you can say half times 2 by root 3 is 1 by root 3 minus 4 by root 3 1 by root 3 minus 4 by root 3 is minus 3 by root 3 which is minus root 3 so essentially my final answer be answer becomes 2 minus root 3 2 minus root 3 plus half times e minus 1 by e. So that means among the given options, a is the correct answer. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.